Colors that we see around us in the plant world are the result of the formation of a number of different kinds of pigment molecules that build up in the tissues of the flowers and in some cases the tissues of the plant. In the case of red and purple flowers, it's due to chemicals called anthocyanins. Anthocyanins in plants serve a number of purposes. First, they attract certain pollinators necessary to produce seed, uh, most notably butterflies and uh, hummingbirds are attracted to anthocyanins. In the case of the appearance of color in the foliage, it's acting as a sunscreen, very much in the same way as we would wear a sunscreen to reduce the amount of ultraviolet light that appears, that, that reaches our skin, so is the plant producing a sunscreen to modify the ultraviolet light. It is also an indicator of proper light level in some plants, especially orchids, and I'll show you a couple of examples of that. In some cases, it builds up in spots rather than a, a uniform sunscreen. This is Catlia ludemanniana, and if you look closely at this leaf, you see what at first glance appears to be a, a, perhaps a fungal infection, these dark spots. If you look much closer, you'll notice that this isn't an infection. It's in the tissue of the plant. It's a color pigment, and there's no sign of any infection around it. This is a classic example of the formation of sunspot pigments in the foliage and orchids. Sometimes the spots are more uniformly uh, dispersed. This is another Ludomaniana, and you'll notice that in addition to the spots, there's also this uh, overwash or patina of red or purple in the foliage. And in this case, the entire sheath is red. And this is an excellent example indicator of optimum light level for this particular plant. In the, in the tissues of the plant in orchids is widespread. It isn't just cat leaves where you see it, and you'll see it in a number of different genera. This is Dendrobium constrictum, and in this case, the purple pigment is being formed on the undersides of the leaves. If you look very closely here, it's in the leaf bases of the leaves. And interestingly enough, it isn't necessarily related to the color of the flowers. You'll notice these buds that are forming in the early stages. You'll see the, the production of anthocyanins. And as the buds mature, that purple flush goes away, and these flowers actually open white or green with no sign of purple. Um, if you're growing plants that have green or white flowers, and in their background there's anything with the formation of purple pigment. You see it in some white cat leaves, you'll see it in some green cat leaves. If you want to produce really sharp, clear green or white flowers, let the buds develop under slightly lower light. What that does is inhibit the formation of anthocyanins and the flowers will open a much richer, uniform, sharp color.